Okay, here's my palette that I'm going to be working with. White, light gray, darker gray, and black. And then this, and this is uh, uh, Golden's Nickel Azo Gold with white, with light gray, darker gray, and black. And here we have Cobalt Teal with white, light gray, dark gray, and with black. And then this last row is the teal and the nickel azo mixed together. And that is this color with white, with light gray, darker gray, and black. So that is the limited palette that I'm going to be using. Two colors, which are the nickel azo gold and the cobalt teal with white and black. Well, here's the painting, guys. Can you believe it? And um, I looked at it after my last one and decided to change things around. And a lot of people that have come into my studio really like it as is. But as a professional artist, I do know that it's just not finished. But I do like a lot of areas in it. I'll do a little bit of a close-up. You can see that yummy texture. You can see some of that blue coming through and what that was is that uh, art crayon that I used earlier that came through. There's some more of it on the left. You can see some of that yummy texture. And here's the bottom part. Um, I really like that brown, greenish brown color that's in there. You can see I did let some of it show through, but most of it is gone. This is an interesting area right here, too. I like that. So that's what it looks like now. And uh, I'm going to be working on this today. So hang on. Just let me know. Mm -hmm. You guys, take your time, but I'm going to go on and smoke a set. Okay. 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 You can walk on the other side of the table. Oh, okay. It's messy. <laughs> That's okay. some of the green in now. It's kind of an olive green, which I like. And this is actually what it is, is the um, nickel azo gold with a dark gray into it. Look how be look at that beautiful green. Love it. I like that green. This color that I'm putting on next is again the uh, Azo Gold with a light gray into it as opposed to a dark gray. And 
that is kind of a light olive green. That's a pretty color too. It looks brown on the palette, but when I get it on here, it's a lighter color. Like it. I'm hoping that I have a better time with this piece than what I've had in the last few times. I feel like painting today. That's always a good sign for me when I feel like painting. is a reason behind my madness. It really is. lines in. I like that. I'm do what I do is I just put it on the edge of my brayer, then I hold my brayer where only the edge is touching the canvas, and I can get some really good lines that way. Believe it or not, that's on my palette too. It's like a lime green. And that is the Nickel Azo Gold with Cobalt Teal. And a little white. And that's what, that's what color I get. It's like a lime green. Pretty. might just use that as an accent here and there. I don't think I'm going to put too much more in for now. Still same palette. Hi. I'm not talking to myself. Yeah, I'm filming. <laughs> so you can more you're more than welcome to walk yeah, around. Thank you. thank you.
put some of this over here as well. It looks like there's a lot of colors going on, but there's not. Okay, now I have to start working in these areas. This is the cobalt teal. Light gray in it. It's a pretty color too. like that right there. Do a little bit of runs. working in the cobalt teal. If you need any help, just let me know. Okay, thank you. Just more than welcome to walk around. There's that one color I like so much going.
think I'm going to start using a brush because I'm not getting what I want. Watch me struggle. <laughs> <laughs> to lose a little bit of my darks, which I don't want. I'm going to stand back and take another look at it. One spot right there where one was. what I'm trying to do put this in. Looking at my dark shapes, I want to make sure I have some large dark shapes, some medium, and some small. This is a larger dark shape here. It's somewhat connected. This is kind of medium, and that's kind of medium, or that could be large. This is medium, and then I have some smaller shapes. That's smaller. Break up that line a little bit. This line I'm trying to break up a little bit. And this is broken up. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. It's some right up here. I don't want this to end the same spot as that. 
so I'm going to put that about right there. Okay, now I've got to stand back and take a look at it. I'm kind of liking it. Okay, now I'm going to put some line work in with my brush. Well, well, well. What is it about this painting that I'm struggling so much with? I don't know what it's all about. All else fails, get the big paintbrush out. what I'm seeing. The whole thing's changing again. I tell you, the way I struggle. The way I struggle. Not any fun.
Ah, uh, how did I pick up that yellow? probably sick of watching me changing this thing over and over and over. But this is the way I paint. Um, I don't know how many times a lot of my paintings, they might have 10, 12 layers on I just keep painting until something happens. A lot of times, it's a real struggle. More than welcome to walk around. These are great paintings. bit too bright right there. Thank you. 
Okay, I have to pull it together now. A little bit of warmth down here. Depends. This yeah. one's taking forever. I really like, like that one. I have so many layers on it. I just keep painting until something happens. And it just <laughs> hasn't happened yet. So I just keep painting. <laughs> Sometimes it happens right away and other times I struggle. Mm -hmm. This is one that I, I'm struggling with. Really? I like it. Thank you. It's getting there. Slowly. Okay. I think it's finished. So what I'm going to do is uh, give you a good close-up of it. And I sure do appreciate you watching. And please subscribe if you haven't before. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye. This is what it looks like head-on.